Okay, so now in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to add the Unity new input system. Alright, because we will make the player controller using the new input system of Unity. Alright, for that you will have to click on Window, then Package, Manager, and then you can click on right here in the top on this Unity registry, and then in here search for Input System. Alright, it will show you this package as you can see in the description it shows this line a new input system which can be used as more extensible and customizable alternative to unity classic input system in the unity engine dot input so just simply click on install once it is installed it will give you this warning in which it will need to restart the editor so just simply click on yes and when you do this it will as you can see restart the unity editor as you can see it is now restarting so now let's just wait for it to run so now as you can see it is restarted and we have the new input system now so what we're gonna do is in the game folder we're gonna go ahead and create another folder by the name of scripts then create another folder by the name of controls all right in the controls what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new input system so you can click on create and then right at the bottom you will find input actions all right just click on that and it will create this in protection name this as player controls all right press enter when you do that then right here you can click on this generate c sharp class click apply and now as you can see it has created a script for the player controls in protection as well all right you will not see this input actions in the menu if you don't have the new input system installed so make sure that you install that package as we did in the starting of this video now we are ready to set up our inputs all right let me make this a little bit small then what we're gonna do right here we're gonna create a action map name it as player movement all right in here we have this new action let's name this as movement its action type will be passed through and the control type will be vector 2 all right in here we have this no binding so what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete this no binding and then click on this plus sign and right here we can add this up down left right composite all right and you can name this as WASD because using these keys we will move the player forward backward left right so for the up we're going to select the keyboard W key so right here as you can see we can't see the search bar but as you can see the search bar is already selected so just type W and it will show this W keyboard add that for the down add the S keyboard which is right down below right here for the left add a keyboard and for the right add D keyboard all right so now we have a action which is by the name of movement in which we set up the buttons for our movement all right and we will just add the movement keys just for the keyboard but if you want your game to run on xbox or playstation all right or if you want to play the game using a controller then you can add inputs for that as well for example in most of the games we perform movement using the left stick so you can just add another left uh, up down left right composite name this as left stick all right and then for the up you can select the left stick up okay let me type it again left space stick 
then slash up all right here it is you need to make sure that you select this left stick up gamepad all right because if you select that then using the play store and xbox controller you will be able to control the player movement now for the down we will say left stick down gamepad for the left it should be left stick slash left so let me found this left which is right here make sure that you select the gamepad one right then left stick slash right all right so now the movement will work on the controller as well so this was just to show you how you can add movement for your joystick all right but since we are making this game just for the pc and mostly for the mobile phone so we will not be adding any more controller inputs all right this was was just to show you how you can add it so once we have the player movement keys now we need to add another binding and name this as camera movement and in here the camera movement uh, should be using the mouse so first of all make the camera movement a pass through and then a vector 2 and then in the binding right here select delta mouse and as you know that you can perform the camera movement using the right stick of the joystick so make sure that if you want to use the joystick then add a uh, inputs for that as well but I'm just gonna leave this one as it is now we have the movement and the camera movement what we can do now is if you click on this cross sign it will show this window so make sure that you save it before closing it now once we have this now in the next video what we're gonna do is we're gonna read the inputs from our keyboard alright so with this done let's end this video right here